This is the Power Platform Daily Brief from CRM Audio for Monday, August 26, 2019. I'm Joel Lindstrom, and this is what you need to know about the Power Platform today in 10 minutes or less. The first thing is that you can now create environments from the Power Platform Admin Center. This is the missing piece with the move to the new storage model, and that is no longer are you charged per environment. Uh, so you can go create as many environments as you want. These environments can be common data service environments or common data service environments that include Dynamics 365 apps. So uh, go to the power, go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and click on Environments. And uh, just so you know, you, sh- you need to have one gig of space available to create an environment. So you can create as many as you want, but if your storage is all full, you're going to have to free up some storage or buy some additional storage before you can create additional environments. This was especially helpful to me because this came out right before my app in a day session in Chicago last week. And so I was pretty, I was able to pretty quickly spin up 30 environments in a trial. That's another thing a lot of people don't know is if you need multiple environments and multiple trials, at the same time, you don't need to go sign up for multiple trials. You can create one environment, one trial environment, and then you can go create, uh, and this is this is kind of the confusing part, you create a trial for, uh, for Power Apps or for Dynamics 365, uh, then go create environments from the Power Platform Admin Center, but create production environments. And again, I don't know why uh, you have trials and then you create production environments in the trials. That's just the way it is. And you can create, and I didn't, I didn't count, but um, I was up to 35 and I didn't have anything stopping me. So just remember that next time you need to have multiple environments, create one trial and create multiple environments in that trial. And time is running out if you want to speak at the Power Platform 24 virtual 24-hour conference coming up at the end of September. The call for proposals ends end of the day on Wednesday, August 28th. So be sure to get your sessions in if you want to speak. If you want to speak, you need to submit. So go ahead and submit your topics. Right now we have uh, a number of sessions uh, split between Flow, Power Apps, and Dynamics 365 with some Power BI in there as well. So if you want to speak, you need to submit. See the show notes for the link. And earlier this summer, Microsoft introduced the preview of instance flow steps in business process flows. So if you wanted to request approval, you could do it directly from the business process flow. But uh, last week, they've enhanced it to allow you to mark instant flow steps as complete or incomplete right from within the flow. So the idea is if you have something like an approval, but you have other thing, other people outside of the approval process who need to see what it is, what the status of that is, uh, you can have your flow mark the process flow step complete uh, right from within your flow. So that helps to make the visibility of the outcome of the process uh, available to other people. And uh, it's just really handy. And today on the Power Apps blog, Greg Lindhorst announces the new set focus function. So with set focus, you can have your Canvas app jump the cursor to whatever field you want them to focus on. And there's a great example of the checkbox that says use shipping address and billing address. And then uh, if it's unchecked, making it jump to that location. And you can pair that with the notify function. And the notify function can pop up a message. So think about required field scenarios where uh, if a field's not, when a button's pushed, if a field is not filled out, you can require pop a message saying the state is required and pop and and move the focus to that field. There are some limitations to this function. Um, one is um, the name is set automatically. Um, it's uh, it's worth repeating. Set focus cannot be used with a control in a gallery control 
edit form control or inside of a component. It only works within the button, icon, image, label, and text input controls. And there's a note at the end that on iOS, the keyboard will only be displayed automatically if set focus was initiated by a direct user action. So if someone uh, presses a button and it invokes set action, it will be visible. On select property will display. The soft keyboard will invoking from a screen's on visible will not. So just keep that in mind. That's a really good addition and something that uh, I know some people struggled with when they write Canvas apps because they want to make uh, make things happen automatically or move focus to another area. So that's uh, that's a good thing to be able to do. And in our All About Microsoft column, Mary Jo Foley reports that Microsoft is using Dynamics 365 to manage the publishing of Windows 10 and previous Windows client and server updates via Windows Update. So this is basically reporting on a, on a new Microsoft showcase case study showing how Microsoft is using Dynamics 365 internally to build business applications. So they're basically using it for the data model and some of the dashboards capability, but a lot of it is done via the API. They have a package release service, rollout management, payload management, targeting service, and flighting settings that are not necessarily standard Dynamics stuff, but it's a cool story to show how uh, how how D365, a really common data service, can be extended and build any kind of application that you want. I'm curious to know more. It doesn't give a lot of details. I'd, I'd be curious to know if they're using just out-of-the-box dashboards or if they are using, uh, using Power BI or other tools in there as well. Uh, but it also maybe is a place for business process flows and other things showing this stage of the release. So it's interesting, I put a link in the show notes. So that's today's Power Platform Daily Brief from CRM Audio. I'm Joel Lindstrom. Now you're up to date. Power on.